It's official. OpenAI is now actually worth half a trillion dollars. Microsoft holds 27%, the non-profit runs the show, and Sam Altman, the man who made it all happen, gets no stake. This isn't a fall from grace, not at all. It's actually the most calculated reset in Silicon Valley history. So if you're actually ready, here is the breakdown. After months of negotiation and legal scrutiny from California and Delaware's attorneys general, OpenAI has officially restructured itself into a public benefit corporation, a PBC, called OpenAI Group PBC. It's now controlled by the OpenAI Foundation, a non-profit valued at $130 billion, making it one of the wealthiest philanthropic entities in the world. The move ends a five-year constraint that limited how much capital OpenAI could raise under its old capped profit model. Now, it can actually take unlimited investment while their non-profit retains mission control. Microsoft's stake is now worth $135 billion, roughly 27% of OpenAI, down from 32.5% before recapitalization, but still the biggest external holder. The updated agreement extends their partnership until 2032, giving Microsoft this exclusive Azure rights to all OpenAI models until AGI is verified, IP access for both pre and post AGI systems, and a $250 billion Azure commitment from OpenAI itself. In return, OpenAI gets the independence it craved, freedom to build products with third parties serve APIs on non-Azure clouds and even, well, pursue open weight models that meet safety standards. Microsoft can now actually build its own AGI, either alone or with, well, other partners, ending a clause that once locked it into OpenAI's ecosystem. It's actually come to think of it the cleanest detente in tech history. Separation without divorce. Here's the shocker. Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO gets no equity in this newly restructured entity. Last year, there were talks of a personal stake. This time around, OpenAI has confirmed none. It's actually a power statement, not a punishment. Altman doesn't need shares to shape the future. He now actually sits atop a $500 billion AI powerhouse that answers to a mission, not the market. The OpenAI Foundation now owns a growing stake in the for-profit arm, meaning the more OpenAI earns, the richer its non-profit becomes. So basically, its first $25 billion fund will focus on this, Frontier Health Research, including open datasets for medical breakthroughs and AI resilience, creating cybersecurity layers for global AI infrastructure. So basically, in short, OpenAI's success now directly fuels humanitarian and safety goals, a self-funding loop where capitalism pays for alignment. This recap isn't just corporate housekeeping. It's actually a new governance model for AI. One where, well, a non-profit controls a for-profit engine, investors get returns but not control, and the world's most advanced AI company has a mission hard-coded into its cap table. For Microsoft, it's a tenfold ROI and continued dominance over cloud-based AI. For OpenAI, it's the freedom to build faster, safer, and bigger before AGI arrives. So here is, well, the final take. OpenAI just reprogrammed corporate capitalism, a $500 billion company controlled by a non-profit, a CEO without equity, and a mission that literally owns the business. So if this works, it could be the blueprint for AGI governance. And if it doesn't, well, the most expensive experiment in AI ethics just began.